and welcome to my channel. I am Viva Glaze. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get notified each time I upload. Now, today is a very exciting video. I will be sharing with you my unboxing of the Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjean. So, I really want to just have a quick chat with you and just, you know, tell you the background of the fragrance and tell you the background of the company that made it. Francis Kirkjean is a French contemporary perfumer. Well, he's also a businessman. Mm. But in 2001, he won some award. I don't know what it was. I'm sure it was something to do with fragrance. When he was 26 though, he created uh, La Mel, which is a scent that he made for Jean-Paul Gaultier. And then since then he became really famous. He started creating fragrances for other fragrance houses like 40 and some of which were Ellie Saab, um, My Burberry, <laughs> yes. And Narcissa Rodriguez for her. We love that one. So yeah. Fast forward to 2009, he co-founded um, Maison Francis Kirkjean, the luxury niche fragrance house with um, Mark Shaya. And since then, he's been creating these beautiful fragrances for his own fragrance house. So yeah, okay, you know what? That's enough talking. I just wanna jump into unboxing this fragrance so i've got the box right here this is a mecca box because that's where i ordered the fragrance from online um i'll just take off the lid so that's what it looks like inside when i open the box and i don't know what this is but we don't care and that's just the receipt and it opens like this this pink paper and there it is oh. <gasps> wow <gasps> and it slides out like that oh it's so pretty oh yeah so look at that Okay, so it just says um, Maison Francis, Kirkjean, Paris, Baccarat Rouge 540, and this is the extract version. Um, and I actually blind bought this. I bought the 200 ml bottle, which retailed for about 995 Australian dollars. Um, but they also sell a 70 ml bottle which was about 500 and something dollars. You know, you can look it up. I'll leave the link to the store in the description box. But yeah, I chose to go with the extract version and I'll explain why a bit later. Now, isn't that nice? It's such a nice box. It's a matte red box and I'll just open it. Look at that bottle. Oh, it's so nice. It's heavy. Oh, it looks so good. It's such good quality, you know? Let me open it. Oh, it was on there pretty tight. Oh. Mm. Wow. Well, I accidentally sprayed it on the bottle. Oh, that's nice. So I did a bit of reading about the perfume before I bought it. It has top notes of bitter almond and saffron, and then middle notes of um, Egyptian jasmine and cedar. And um, the base notes are like musky, woody, and ambergris. Now, actually, did you know ambergris is like this solid, waxy, um, like a grayish black substance that comes from the digestive system of a sperm whale? 
I know. But anyway, moving on. So yeah, um, this is so beautiful. Oh, did you ever wonder, um, why do they call it Baccarat Rouge 540? Like, what's with the 540? It's so random. I know I did. I asked that question myself. And I had to find out because, you know, I'm a curious being. So, from my understanding, the fragrance was first created and launched in 2014, but it was exclusive. So, they only made like a few bottles and then in 2017 that's when it was officially launched out to everybody the thing is they first created this fragrance to commemorate um the crystal house and they basically make um crystals uh, since like 1847 but it, it's it's like this crystal clear scarlet cut glass and so that's where the name Baccarat came from. And then what they would do to get the red color is use 24 karat gold uh, powder and mix it with crystals and then put it, um, bake it basically for like 540 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's how they came up with the 540. So it's Baccarat Rouge 540. I thought. So this was a blind buy for me. Uh, I'd heard a lot about it. I knew <laughs> that it was out there and I thought I needed it in my collection when I read the notes and everything. I just, I just thought it belongs in my wardrobe. Okay. So I'm here and I'm going to try it. I'm going to see how it mixes with my skin, but I know I'm going to love it already because the smell is fantastic. So where I sprayed it before on my wrist, like the scent is changing, it's warming up. Yeah, the bitter almond is there. It's kind of like a, my mouth is watering. <laughs> it always waters when I'm smelling fragrance. Anyway. Yeah, so it's sort of like a sweet scent, but it's fresh at the same time. Um, the original Baccarat Rouge 540 is more of like everyone can smell you kind of thing. And some people were saying that they can't smell it on themselves, but everyone is there complimenting them for a fragrance that they can't smell on themselves anymore. But this one is more close to the body than it is more like out with the sillage, if you understand what I mean. I still have to wear it for a while for me to fully know what I'm talking about. So I will do that and then I will come back with a review if you like me to. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you have this fragrance already, if you like it, how well it wears on your skin. And do you have the original? I mean, should I be looking to getting the original? I'm really thinking about it, but what do you think? Um, yeah, I think both of them would be masterpieces. This one is already one of my favorites just by, by the smell. It's so unique and everything is blended so well. You know, you can't really pick out any specific notes it's you just know it's in there but it's not harsh nothing is harsh nothing is standing out more than the other notes it everything is balanced you know so yeah i mean it's a pretty bottle as well i don't know how long it'll take me to get through it but hopefully it'll last a long time because when i buy a fragrance i need it to last long okay and i don't want to have to repurchase in the next two years so yeah hopefully it'll last me that long and yeah 
thank you guys for watching my unboxing i am so excited to try this out so yeah thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you have not already please leave me a comment in the comment section let me know if you have tried this fragrance before if you have it in your collection how well it wears on your skin do you have the original baccarat rouge 540 and what do you think about that one now if you have not had enough of me please head on over to my next video and i will see you there bye